Alrighty, welcome to the long weekend. Treachery, Lighthouse Beach. We've got a whole house to ourselves. We're living like kings. We've got awesome barbecue recipes. The sun's out, the salt water's splashing about. Friends are climbing rocks. This is how we do it. Yeah. Sand whiting, smoked sand whiting. It's gonna have like a honey thyme and salt glaze on top. And we're gonna smoke it, just in this little smoker here, over some lemon myrtle leaves and a whole bunch of hickory as well. So it'll be like citrusy, smoky, honey sweet. And then we're gonna flake it over like a char grilled carrot salad. So really easy, but like full of flavor. So the first step is to make our sort of glaze or our salt and honey rub for our fish before we smoke it. So we're going to go a good pinch of salt into a bowl. We're going to add some thyme in there and then a sort of big hit of honey as well. So this is just going to get sort of pulled over and sort of rubbed all over the fish. And then, you know, as that smoke and that heat hits it, it's going to draw into the flesh. All right, so it's starting to smoke now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fish over and onto the grill, and then I'm gonna glaze it with that honey and salt glaze with that sort of thyme through there. All right, so the idea is you wanna put the lid on. If you don't have a lid, you can wrap it in foil, but you want the smoke to stay in there. So once it starts to smoke and your fish is in there, turn the temperature down to like low or medium, leave it for about 10, 20 minutes. And what's gonna happen is that smoke and that heat's gonna circulate, it's gonna permeate, it's gonna go into the flesh of whatever fish you decide to smoke. Um, and it's gonna flake off and be delicious. You'll have like a sweet, sour, smoky, sort of gorgeous fish. All right, so while our fish is smoking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a nice little char grilled sort of carrot and um, radish salad. So I've got a whole bunch of, you know, different colors and sizes, and we're just gonna chop the stalks off them and then barbecue them whole, straight on the griddle. Hit of salt, some thyme in there as well, and then honey on top. How good does that look? It's just starting to cook. All right, so it's gonna go straight onto the barbecue and we're just gonna char grill them till they're just a little bit tender. So you can see the thickest part of the fish is just behind its head. So if you just sort of poke there and you can feel it sort of falling off the bone, that's when you know it's ready. And that's almost there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid back on and then I'm gonna put the smoker off the heat and just pop it on the side just leave it sit. All right, so these are finger limes. They're actually quite ugly, <laughs> but they're amazing. So they're Aussie native, um, and they sort of grew up in the tropics, Byron Bay area. And when you cut it in half, they've got the most amazing sort of cross section. Sort of these little caviar looking things. And when you sort of pop into them and burst their shells, they have the most amazing sort of acidic pop. And it's unbelievable. So what we're gonna do is to finish off this salad and to really um, make it amazing. We're gonna add some honey, uh, a little bit of olive oil, and then a whole heap of these on top. And what will happen is you'll be eating this sort of smoky, sweet, uh, fleshed fish with beautiful carrots and radishes, and then you'll get like pops of acid, pops of citrus, and, and a whole bunch of honey and other flavors. It's gonna be unbelievable. Ooh, yeah. How does that look? It's soft and tender. And to finish it off, our finger lime, honey, apple cider vinegar dressing. All right, how epic does that look? It's sort of a beautiful mix of flavors, smoked, sweet, sour. Only way to spend a long weekend, I'm going to nail this. And this, and this, and this, and this. You. We'll see you soon. You. Make sure you check out next episode too. You.